What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this digital collage that I made uh, probably about a week ago now. So um, yeah, this is what you're going to be learning today. A quick tutorial, not too long, just a bit of cutting and placing into the design. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I will run through each step for you. Nothing, nothing too complicated. Uh, if you could follow the Instagram, that would be great. Uh, we've gained quite a lot of followers over uh, the recent days and same on the YouTube. So thank you everybody for subscribing and liking the videos. It's just been great. The support has been immense. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to that 1000 mark and hopefully we can reach it by the uh, in a couple of months. So that would be great. Hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Welcome to the video. First things first, we're going to need to get our textures. Now, as you know, for by now, I leave a link in the description below to get the textures to this design here. So what you're going to need to do is download that and then you'll be presented with this file here. Now, it's all laid out simply. You can turn this layer off or delete it, either one, whatever. Uh, then first, we're going to get an image. So we're going to turn these on and we're going to get this space image, which is at the bottom. So I'll turn these two off. So it's going to be this image here. I'm just going to drag and drop that into the, uh, the design. So, something like that. Then we can increase the size to make sure that it's big enough for the design. And then you can position it wherever you see fit. So that, that's number one. Next thing we're going to do is get another image. We can just drag all of these in um, at once if you would like. But if you don't want to, then you can do it one by one like I'm going to do. So we get the sand, which we can bring in, and the road. So let's just get those two there. And then we're just going to drag and drop them in. They're not going to be positioned right, so I'm going to turn the road off and then I'm just going to control T on the sand and I'm going to make it bigger so that it fills the whole page. And now I'm going to remove it down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask out the sky. So what you can do is you can get your quick selection tool, select your layer, go across like so and obviously you need to get rid of that lady there, she doesn't need to be in the image and something like that and then I'm just going to command I and invert it and then that's going to layer out the sky. Now we can go into our layer mask and we can just increase the size of our brush, get rid of this harsh, harsh edge uh, we've got here, make it look a bit smoother like that. Now it doesn't really matter too much how smooth it looks because obviously it's a digital collage and they are usually cut and stick methods so it won't matter too much but um, depending on how you want the design to look you might want it perfect so uh, I'm just going to get rid of this edge here that's left like that. Okay so the sand layer is prepared. Now you can add, you can like just leave that layer mask done, and then we're going to go to the road. So <laughs> the road we're going to need to cut out. So I'm going to use the pen tool for this. I might skip through a little bit, but uh, just so you know what I'm doing, I'll start off, and um, it doesn't need to be perfect again. We just go along the edge, and it doesn't matter too much what you uh, include. Um, but you want to make sure that obviously you don't get the mountain in, but we're just going to cut out the road and that's it. Something like that. Go along the edge. Doesn't really matter how much you include of the road, but if you want to get really fiddly with it, then you can. So I'm going to go to about there. And then I'm going to come across like I did before. And then I'm just going to come along here, this line. Make sure you include the whole edge of the road, just just because it'll, it'll make it look better, basically, um, once you come to putting it in the design. And then we're just going to come down here and we're just going to include all of this, this little side path, footpath maybe? I'm not sure. It'd be a bit of a weird footpath, wouldn't it? I mean, imagine if you fell in. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's what we need to do. So actually, I'm not going to speed this up, I'm just going to keep it in because it's quite, quite a simple process. Nothing too major, so somewhere around there. And then we just join the line and once you've uh, cut it out like that, you're just going to make a selection up in the top left, click OK. Now you've selected your whole road layout, and then we're just going to lay a mask. And there you go, the road is cut out. A few moments later. So, now I can zoom back out. I'm just going to go Command T on my uh, road layer, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, and about there should do. Now I'm not going to make this identical to my first one, but similar obviously, because um, it's obviously that's what I'm making but it's not going to be able to be identical. So now what we're going to do is get a planet. Um, so it's going to be Earth, I think, yeah, Earth. So this is what the design is. Uh, let's go back here, turn these images off. We don't need that anymore. Now we're going to the small items. So we can turn these on. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of different items. So I'm going to get the world first. I'm just going to drag and drop this in. Now this needs to go below the road, but above the sand. 
So I'm going to transform it, make it a little bit bigger, something like that, and then I can leave that there. So, got the earth in place. Now we can, I guess we can put it below the sand if you would like. Yeah, let's put it below the sand. It looks kind of a bit bare. Um, so we've got that, and now we're going to have Big Ben coming out of the sand over here. Then we're going to have a plane up here and the moon. And then we're going to have some tennis balls hanging from the sky, hence the name Space Tennis. So if I go back to my assets panel, there's the tennis ball and there's Big Ben and all the other nonsense. So let's just take Big Ben and the tennis ball for now. Have I selected both? Yep, select both. Drag and drop them in. Now, let's just deal with Big Ben for now. Command T, and we're just going to position it somewhere around here. It's got to be, it's going to be below the sand just to make sure it looks like it's in the sand, I guess you could say. So something like that's good. And then we've got our tennis balls. Now, these are going to be, uh, we're going to have three of these. So we're going to go Command J, Command T, and then we're just going to reduce the size of them just to make it look like it's got a bit of depth of field, just to basically make it look like they're further away, obviously. So just reduce the size once you've duplicated them, and then we can have them hanging around like that. There you go, that's all it needed, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna check out the original, so this is how I've got it. Not exactly the same, but we can get the sunflowers, and the planes and the moon, and we're just gonna get a blue strip down the middle, and then we'll be done. So if I go and get these sunflower layers now, go back to this here, sunflower now I'm gonna get the moon as well and the plane I'm just gonna drag and drop them all in so leave the plane and the moon and then we're just gonna deal with the sunflower and I'm gonna duplicate this command J and I'm gonna have this one quite big over here and then I'm gonna have the next one I'm gonna command T flip horizontal and I'm gonna put it over here to make this one quite big as well have it there now obviously as I said it's gonna be a little bit different to the previous one but I want to make sure that um, it's still resembles the same thing um, but obviously it needs to look a bit different otherwise it will just be a bit boring so command T we've got a plane here let's go command J and duplicate him and then we're just gonna flip her horizontal again and we're just gonna make this one a bit smaller just to make it look again with a dip depth of field just to make it look like it's a bit further away so just command J and then we can reduce the opacity of this down to like 70% and we'll reduce the opacity of this plane to like 80% just so it looks like they're fading away, obviously. Uh, and now we can turn the moon on. And we're gonna put this over here and change this to screen and reduce this opacity down to about 70%. Okay, so we've got pretty much all of it done. We need a blue strip down the middle and then we need, I think there was a space, uh, yeah, there's a little space thing. So I'll uh, try find that if I just turn this layer off. So it's that one, yeah, we'll, I'll just drag and drop this in. I'll leave it in the um, assets as well. So it's there now. Uh, UFO, let's just name that, and then we can drag and drop it into this layer, there we go, now you can put it anywhere you want, you can put it in between these, that looks pretty good to me, that's, uh, that's, that's good enough. So, now the last thing to do is add a blue strip, now we can choose any blue you want, uh, this is the blue I'm going to be using, so it's 00DEFF for the code. Then I'm just going to go down the middle here and draw a thick blue line. Okay, I'm not because it's got no fill. So I'm going to reduce that, and there you go, now we've got our blue line. Let's just move it all the way down below the earth, below everything apart from the space layer, and there we go. So, we've got our whole design together now, so that looks all good, I'm just going to group that together. Then I'm going to make a uh, screenshot, so Command, Shift, Option, E, and now I'm going to use a camera or filter, so let's get into that phase. Okay guys, so now we're in the camera or filter phase of the uh, design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sharpening tool, make it a bit sharper, and we're going to get our clarity, which make it looks a bit better as well, and get some texture, makes the sand look really nice, and obviously all the texture within the other in in the images, exposure you can increase a bit and contrast, and now what we're going to do is we are going to add in some uh, reduce the saturation a little bit, just because digital collages aren't the most saturated thing because obviously they're meant to look fairly realistic. And then we're going to add grain, so this is going to be the most important one. So obviously back in the day when they made collages uh, a lot, they would use old cameras to take the photos which had grain on them. So this is why this makes the design look more like a digital collage uh, than a modern collage. So the grain it makes it look better and the images we've used again is another thing that would be used in old collages. So this is a great example of how you can make a new collage look old. So vignetting, we can add a little bit in just to make it a bit darker around the edges, but that's pretty much it guys. So if I uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison, as you can see, we've just basically made the image look better. 
and then added grain. So it's pretty simple, but that's about it guys. So if I click OK, there we go. There's the design done. Uh, we've got all the images and assets in there. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook page, and to subscribe obviously. So if you have enjoyed this video, give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video.